as you can see, the doors to this anthropology building, which is usually flooded with students for humanities classes, is locked. But campus leaders are instituting a new plan that involves outdoor distance classes. No one could imagine that going to school in cam on campus, it's such a precious thing that we've been longing so for, for a long time. Most UC Berkeley students take their classes online, but the university recently made in-person sessions an option for classes. Well, we've had the uh, sociology class as well as the uh, College of Engineering had a couple classes as well. Um, and we have a few more on the books for the School of Public Health. Classes are held on Lower Sproul Plaza and only 12 students are allowed to attend per session. All students must fill out a daily symptom screener and show a green badge before they show up to class. Professor Keila Deal teaches an in-person class for international students and shared some challenges about this new setting. We don't have any of the audiovisual um, uh, capabilities that we've gotten used to in the classroom and on Zoom. So I have the old-fashioned, you know, flip chart, and you know, can't share images, PowerPoint recordings. Um, I have to kind of do that separately through B courses, and then. Um, but in a way, it's nice. It, it means, you, means you just have to talk, just like the old days. Needless to say, students are more content with the in-person option. I feel it's better than Zoom lectures because you can actually, actually see someone talking to you, making eye contacts, body languages. I appreciate the efforts and I feel pretty, pretty grateful that I, have to, I can take a class um, in person. Campus representatives expect more in-person classes to be available after spring break. So there is possibility that it actually is approved for more people, more than the 12 in person. So I believe it's going to be up to 50. For Cal TV News, I'm Nikki Rosenblum.